Hi and welcome back. This week I have a fun event. I will be posting one video every day from Monday to Friday featuring Stampendus products. And today I am going to show you how you can create beautiful uh, background panels using a bossing powder. Today I will be using the Polar Bears stamp set and uh, matching ties. They come in the same set and uh, you see that uh, you get two Polar Bears and if you stamp them multiple times you can create a whole family. And also in the set uh, you get two different sentiments as well as a um, bunch of stars. So I'm going to use my Tim Holtz stamping platform to stamp both the images and I have to switch the door just because these images and these stamps are not uh, clear stamps, they are rubber stamps. I'm using an, a black alcohol marker friendly ink pad to stamp the images. One of the things that I love about polar bears is that you don't have to spend a ton of time coloring them. Since they are white, all you have to do is to just apply some shadows in different areas and that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm using my Spectrum Noir marker, this is an alcohol marker, and you can see the color I'm using on screen. And uh, I'm not even going to introduce a second color for uh, the shadows. I'm mainly going around his uh, scarf and on uh, the edges just to deepen up the shadows there. Now I usually edit out my videos when I share more than one card in a video. But since uh, today I'm sharing only this card, I'm going to leave it uh, as it is so you can see how I did all the coloring. You will be able to see the color marker that I used on screen when I'm switching markers and I'll catch you back once everything is ready. Now you can see on screen right now the two colors that I use for coloring the red scarf for the little polar bear and as you can see I'm just running everything through my Big Shot machine to cut out the images with the matching dyes. And I don't know if you noticed but uh, I do use uh, colors from different brands of alcohol markers just because I know that they work uh, great together so don't be afraid to do that. Now I want to create uh, my background and uh, I'm going for a beautiful scene here today. So I'm going to cut out two panels, both of them are going to be the same size and I'm using my guillotine to do so. The polar bears make a great focal point and they will fill in your card beautifully whether you use it uh, horizontally or vertically. Today I decided to go this way. And I'm going to use my scissors to cut out a slow bank. You can always use a die to do so. If you don't have to, just use your scissors and uh, create a little curve. Just like I did here. So this is going to go at the bottom of my panel. And uh, I'm going to do a fun technique here. I'm going to completely cover it up with a uh, chunky white embossing powder. Now this is going to make sure that um, it's going to give some texture and shine. And uh, you will see that the final result is going to look awesome. So all I'm doing here is covering up completely the piece of paper. And I'm going to bring in my white chunky embossing powder by Stampendus. Now remember this is not fine embossing powder so it's not going to stick uh, everywhere. And uh, one tip that I can give you is that when you are working with chunk embossing powder you need to make sure that you don't tap off the paper otherwise everything is going to fall. 
And once you are happy with the amount of embossing powder that you have on top of your paper, then use your heat gun and make sure that you heat set everything underneath the paper so that all those uh, uh, particles are not going to fly all over the place. And depending how much heat you apply, you can get a very smooth finish and uh, a very textured one. So the more heat, the more melted and the more smooth it's going to look. I didn't want it to be too smooth as I want to have the shine and the texture on my snowbank. So this is how mine looks and I just love it. Stampendus has a great collection of embossing powders and embossing enamels and I'm going to show you some that I saw in the catalog and I really fell in love with. I'm going to use one of them today to create my night sky and uh, since this is the first time I'm using it, you will see the results, we will find out the results together. So the one that I will be using is the aged uh, marine, it's a combination of uh, gold glitter and uh, dark blue. This is another gorgeous combination, it's called Age Ivory and it has glitter as well, golden glitter as well as ivory colored embossing powder. And here's the last one I'm going to show you, this is the Aged Teal and I'm going to place it next to the marine one, again with uh, gold glitter inside. I'm planning to use all of these enamels in my future projects, but for today I'm going with the aged marine, so I'm going to cover up completely this piece of uh, white cardstock with my Versamark ink. And uh, again, this is the first time I tried this enamel uh, powder and I didn't know if uh, what I had in mind would work out, but you will see that it's going to be just gorgeous. Now, I'm uh, going to apply the embossing powder or embossing enamel rather on top of it. Make sure that I completely cover up this piece of paper. Now I'm going to place uh, back to the jar all the excess powder and then I'm going to apply my heat gun on top of my embossing enamel which is going to melt and I'm going to show you the result here which is just amazing. And I think this would also make great backgrounds to use your dyes on top of them and cut out different uh, images from the places where you love the pattern. Now I'm going to start um, assembling my card, so I'm going to apply some tape adhesive at the back of my snowbank and just stick it at the bottom of my panel. So my background is ready now and I just can't have enough of this uh, background, I just love it. I think that it's so gorgeous and you will see close-up photos at the end of the video so you can see all the little uh, particles that this enamel is uh, made out of because it's not just gold and uh, one uh, shade of blue. Now I'm just cutting out uh, a bit off from the sides, which is going to turn this uh, panel to be slightly smaller than a standard card and this way I will end up having a little border around this panel. This is totally optional, if you don't like borders you don't have to do that, you can just stick this panel and cover up completely your card front. And now it is assembly time, I'm going to stick on top both my polar bears and again remember that you can stamp way more than uh, this and create a little family which uh, could represent your own family and I think that would be an adorable idea. I'm going to chop off the excess paper and my panel is ready. So I have a standard card here that's four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm going to apply some strong tape adhesive at the back of my panel. I'm not shy with uh, the adhesive just because I have applied uh, a lot of uh, heat on top of my paper. It is a little bit warped so I need to make sure that this is going to lay flat on top of my card base. And you can see that I got that uh, white border around my image. Now in the stamp set you get uh, this uh, bunch of stars that you can stamp depending on uh, how your background looks so you can give something to the polar bears to look at. In my case just because I have this uh, embossed background I cannot stamp anything on top of it so instead I am going to die cut uh, my sentiment and just stick it there. Another option is to stamp your sentiment on another piece of paper, cut it out and stick it up there. Now on the inside I'm going to stamp one of the sentiments included in the stamp set and I went with the one that says wishing you a magical Christmas season. And I like that it's such a small sentiment since it leaves me enough space to write down anything I like. So that was the card for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired to use some embossing powders all over your backgrounds since they look so gorgeous. 
here are some close-up photos on my night sky. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'll see you all tomorrow with another video featuring Stampendus. Thank you all for watching!